Luxembourg, which is in Northern Europe. Uh, and we've been looking out for the consequences and spread of the disease ever since that, uh, that time last autumn. In terms of doing something about it, what, what stage uh, is the industry at for vaccines? Well, what we're anxious to point out from the Parliament is that firstly, and uh, I think we should reassure the public that there is, as far as we're aware, no consequence to public health, uh, humans can't catch it. But what we don't know is how far the disease has spread, what exactly are the consequences, uh, and how receptive will it be to a virus. We do know, as you've said earlier, that there's a pretty wide spread across the southeast corner of this country, we think that it's spread by midges, as you've implied, uh, and we are beginning to see the consequences of an infection which took place last autumn. Uh, and the consequences are that, particularly in the sheep flock, anything up to 20% of the lambs are born dead or very seriously deformed. Now, that has a very big economic consequence on farmers, and therefore the European Union is looking hard to firstly track the disease, but secondly, to concentrate our firepower to try to develop a vaccine, if that should be the answer, as quickly as possible. Mr Ashworth, why, why, is there any investigation into why it, it has come to the UK? I know it travels on midges, but it, it hasn't happened before. No, it hasn't. Uh, and while this would not be the time or place to debate climate change, what is clearly happening is that new diseases or viruses are beginning to appear. In 2007-2008, we had a very similar occurrence with something called blue tongue disease, yeah. which we now know is spread by midges, uh, and we now have developed vaccines which we are beginning to use extremely successfully uh, on farms. Here now we have another virus which has appeared, either by th uh, being spread by insects, or indeed it might be muta uh, a virus which is mutating itself. Whatever the circumstances, something has changed which has allowed that to happen and we have to be on our guard now to look out for what comes next and we don't know there appears to be a very strong possibility that things like uh, uh, horse disease the virus with horses may well be waiting to appear but who knows there could be others very interesting richard ashworth thank you very much for talking to us there's a new paper 